Good morning and welcome back. Well, this is the second video I get to do with opening my uh, new Gro GoPro. Oh wow, I'll never get this right. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, good morning and welcome back. This is the second time I get to open my GoPro 10. Uh, the first time I did this, I opened it all up and that little bastard there didn't work. I'm not sure what was going on with it, but it recorded fine. The light was on and uh, gets it to my computer and the SD card is ruined. So I'm trying to recover the, the file, the files from the SD card, but I'm not holding my breath. So anyway, meanwhile, back in the zoo, I've decided that I'm going to redo the opening. So what you'll probably get is me opening this and because I've got this camera and this camera was working I've got the footage off that what I might do is uh, show you this opening on this side and then cut to to this one where you'll see I have different clothes on and um, anyway it is what it is these things are meant to test you and they do so I bought this from GoPro because I prefer going to the main sites rather than buying it in Argos, etc, etc. I got it on a deal. And um, the money was, it cost me 329 quid. In that deal, you get the GoPro, you get a year subscription with GoPro, which gives you um, random benefits. I think it's like unlimited upload to the cloud for your videos. Um, what else does it give you? I think you can get a discount when you buy other GoPro stuff. But to be fair, a lot of the GoPro accessories are just way expensive. You can get them a lot cheaper. In fact, I've got another pack. And uh, I also made a video of that, which the X3000 didn't do. Or maybe the SD card failed. failed. But anyway, so you get the, um, the brow, the, what do you call that, user instructions, etc. You get a USB-C lead, which is there. So there's the tiny GoPro battery, don't know if you can see that. Wow, wow. But these are like 20 odd quid on GoPro themselves. There is an uh, extra power battery. I might get that when I've got some more money. Plus, I don't pay for any, I don't um, get any of this free, obviously, because I'm such a small channel. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I wanted the camera anyway. So, oh, get out. So you get the case with it, you get this internal thing to hold it. I wonder if you could keep this in the bag if you want to go somewhere. So you can keep your GoPro solid in there like that, you know, like that. And so on and so on. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, well you have to get some sponge, I suppose you get some sponge and stick your GoPro, GoPro, GoPro in there. So this is it, this tiny thing. That's your GoPro, GoPro 10. You get a three 32 megabyte, sorry, 32 gigabyte card with it as well. So you'd have thought they'd get a bigger card really. But I don't know, I suppose it's free and it gets you going. I've got a 128 gigabyte card, um, which I use on my drone. So I'll probably spend a little bit more money and get another one for the GoPro. It just saves you then you can have like eight hours on one card rather than swapping and changing cards. I suppose the difference is if you're swapping like a 32 gigabyte and then a 64 gigabyte, when it gets full, you've also got the backup that the files you've got on that card are pretty safe. And whatever happens, they're there, you can start another file. So this is it. This is the tiny, whoop, tiny GoPro 10. So the mighty GoPro 10. I'll be, I'll be doing some videos later on. You'll see it in a couple of days where I'm going to be using this with a strap on my head and uh, I'm going to fly my drone. So you can have two perspectives. You can have the drone's perspective and me looking at the perspective. I might take you for a walk and go a little, do a little bit of walking and see what it's like. I've also got 
you bear with me for that there. Now microphones, with the GoPro, you need to get either a multimedia cage, you know what I mean? Which is an extra, another extra, I don't know, 50 odd quid. And apparently I've seen all the videos where it's quite shit. And the only way, the reason why they buy it is because people want to put it in a cage, use it as a cage. It's got um, cold shoe mounts and they can put their own microphone, just like this one. But with the X3000, which is like donkey's years old now, it's got its own uh, 3, 3.5 millimeter um, jack for the mic. So come on, GoPro, big firm like you, and you're taking advantage of people. I mean, you're paying a lot of money for your camera and then they got to pay a lot of money then. You know what I mean, why don't you just, like you did the years ago, I mean, donkey's years ago, the original GoPros had their own mic jack already built in. So you're telling me that you can't do that today. It's all about money, that's what I think. Like this one's got its own jack. That one there's got its own jack. A lot of other up and coming action cameras have got their own uh, microphone jack. I just think that it's a lot of faff you've got to go around just to get a microphone put in. Or you can buy the, the microphone adapter for the GoPro because nothing else works, only the GoPro. And um, yeah, yeah, you can you can do it that way. But I f might have found a cheaper alternative. I've seen this for sale, and you know, for the life of me, see that? I can't remember the name of it. Draft King or whatever you call it. Anyway, this is like a windmuff, right? A bit like a dead cat. Call this a dead sock if you like. You put your your GoPro in there, like that. You fit the GoPro GoPro in that. And this acts like a shield because the GoPro's got quite a few microphones on it. And what this will do then, you'll be able to see the back there. Uh, you'll be able to uh, put the GoPro legs through there so you can connect it to a, a, a tripod, whatever it'll be. But at the end of the day, this apparently stops a majority of the wind chaff, the wind noise that everyone dreads. So I'm thinking, well, maybe if I'm gonna go for a walk later, I'll try this out and see how good it is. But you never know, we'll see how that works. I'll update you on that one. This is my Ulanzi G9 stroke four, plastic cage for a GoPro. Now, it says it's a Ulanzi, I don't think it is. I think it's a fake. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and check it out to see if it's, this is the legit one. I'll make my own another video on this. I just thought I'd give you the heads up. I wanna see how good that cage is and whether you can put, whether you can use this as a walkabout cage rather than um, the multimedia box. But you'd still need, for the microphone, you'd still need a USB adapter if you wanted to use the microphone. But if you wanted to use extra stuff on the, on the cold shoe adaptions, the adapters, you'd be all right. Wait, that's for a different video. So, in closing off, this is for my GoPro 10, and hopefully you're gonna get some, see some footage quite soon. So, anyway, until next time, thank you, bye-bye, take care.